Good morning, people of the Evil Net. Um, me again. Right, um, yeah, it's another, well, sunny day. Hmm, I'll take that. Um, but it is a bit chilly still. Um, so today, <laughs> as if it's any different to any other day, working on the Tigra. Now, a little while ago, I had a speaker that was completely shot, and I quickly bodged it up because because um but now i've got some proper spacers and i've got some speakers that my son's donated so let me show you what i'm doing so the speakers in the tigra are notorious for being pretty rubbish and because they suffer a little bit from water ingress um they break easily the head units are not much better either i've got the standard one in this at the moment there you go um whether it stays Never matter, but I have got some proper speaker adapters uh, to take some kicker speakers that my son has, say, kindly donated to me. So today, um, I'm going to take the panels off and put the new speakers on. I know as well I've got clips missing in these, so I've bought some new clips as well because they are, well, I like chocolate after a while. They go hard and brittle and they just break. So today's job is get the new speakers in. Um, get the door cards attached securely and uh, enjoy some banging music yeah okay <laughs> we'll see about that won't we so first job get this off now I have gone through this before but for those that haven't seen that or too lazy to go and look for it aha uh -huh. um, you've got a little panel here screwdriver in there pop that off there you go one screw in there like that and then it's this panel off it's really easy to do with one hand obviously um. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay there we go we got it no panic no worries and you got a one there and a one of there uh, obviously this has got to come out same sort of thing get a screwdriver in there pry it off be careful because you don't want to damage it and then you've got one under there and one under there and one at the end as well and then it just pulls off so I'm going to get those out and uh, carry on and there you go all the screws are out so just going to pop this out um, nothing too technical here all you've got to do is pull that latch back it's going to be difficult with one hand isn't it always why do I do this internet because you enjoy it all right press that little tab down pull that back like so and it pops out now word of warning when you take this out be quite careful there is a cable on the back and it just basically clips in to the back there you can see it's just dropped off when you put it back be very careful because if you don't get that clip in the back there properly it ain't gonna work but for now we're gonna oops one-handed again struggle along struggle along we're gonna pop it out and that's what I'm going to do with two hands <laughs> and we're off so now we just give it a little bit of a yank it won't take much with this one because like I say all the clips are broken so you pull it out like so can you see this hopefully and then you slide it upwards which again is difficult with one hand oh come on there you go slide it up and there's a rail at the top you can see just there that it clips into right so panels off now you can see the speaker and you can see what a wonderful job I did in it last time so what we're doing now three screws out there you go with the three screws out it just literally pulls straight out there's a clip on the back there oh listen to those bikes mine's still in the garage yeah so there's a clip on the back there you just unplug that and it'll all come together so now that's out as you can see i've got these now these are especially made for the tigra they're quite expensive tenner something like that off the ebay and um basically they will take a smaller speaker than what come with the voxels they come with something like a seven seven inch six seven inch i don't know and these are for five inch i believe and my son has kindly donated some brand new kicker speakers 150 watt peak apparently mm, go me right let's um let's do this 
Now I forgot to mention they come with these little babies so they will plug straight into your Vauxhall loom up there like that and then straight into the back of the speakers that's the theory anyway. Mm, these are far too nice for this old car. <laughs> oh capacitors as well that must be for the, the built-in tweet. Excellent. Mm. All right stop waffling get them in. Annoyingly in the pack what you don't get is any screws. And mine. I've got plenty. And there you go. Mare did in there a treat. Um, just say top there, so gives you an idea which way it went to go. And obviously the recess needs to go the other way. Yeah, recessed in. Right. Um, in the hole. There you go, cables on the back. Give them a little squeeze with a pair of pliers as well, just to make sure they're real tight. And then forget all the work I've done because these are crap. Yeah, they're supposed to be fatigues. They're not. They don't fit. If I got them the wrong way round, are they supposed to go the other way? Am I an idiot? <laughs> hmm. So on that one, they sit inside. I'm not so sure these are not supposed to go. The other way round. Hmm. You would think they would go that way. Oh well, let's try on the other way. Well, seems to fit that way. I'm just a little concerned it's going to clear down there. But I will know when I put the cover back on. That is bizarre. Hmm. All right. Here's what it is. Ah, well, it seems to work okay, so um, that'll do. Right, um, so door panel back on. Let me just turn you around. So, you can see, let's get some focus on this. See just there, there was a little red clip. They like notoriously go brittle after some time. So, what I've got in a little packet just here, just out of shot, which I'm struggling to open because, well, the internet is these there you go some new clips not the originals but new clips so they just slip in there like so and then when you clip the door panel in they hold it pretty secure so there you go there's only four of them to this side to that side like that and i say when you offer it up you just give them a little tap they pop in and um, stop it rattling down with a rattle. So to get it back on again, easiest thing to do is just pop this off because that just pulls off, he says. And then if you just leave your rubber bit there, like so, uh, it's easier to, to get that bit on afterwards. It slips in and then little peg again pops it in. So I'm not gonna try and do this with one hand, but it does literally hook in the top there, like so. And then there's your little pin holes there, there. And obviously you've got to remember your electronics for your controls for the windows and everything. And the most important bit, that little baby there. There you go, so it's back on. Um, does the speaker fit? I think it's clashing to be honest. Uh, well, I don't suppose it matters. Yeah, these are not, not the best of designs. Let's just say that. Right, so this top bit, just literally pops in there like that. I'll do it in a minute. And then screws back in. Two there, one up there. Obviously your handle's got to go in and then there's three down the bottom. Right, I'm going to do this with two hands because, well, I have to. And there you go, we are complete. That works all right. Handle back on, everything's secure. No rattles and, uh, well, speaker's in there. <laughs> whether it keeps performing I don't know but it's in right other side and now for side number two come on off hey <laughs> screws everywhere hmm <laughs> kind of looks like somebody's been in here already <laughs> ah what a bunch of animals they were our that's out of a home stereo <laughs> butchered the terminals oh 
Look at that. That's a quality repair. <laughs> just, just wrap the wires around the spade terminal. Well, luckily, it may just be that the, the outer cable connector has gone. Um, might be easier. Hmm. All right, so yeah, the spades are still there. It's just the outer connector's gone. So I may just be able to put those into into there. Um, which way round would you say? I would say the one with the brown stripe. I would say that would be the positive. It's got a multimeter on it. And there you go, it's in place. A little bit more professional than uh, before, <laughs> if I'm honest. Ah, right, door cover back on and I'm finished. There you go, all back together. We're done. Nice. Well, there you go. That was a bit of a mixed bag, but it's all done. Two good speakers in there now. Gonna see what the stereo sounds like. I suspect not much better, but I may put an Android head unit in there. Who knows? I have seen people in the shelf behind the seats as well create a subwoofer station. No, <laughs> too old for that. Where am I? We shall see. Anyway, catch you in the next one. Cheers, internet. Bye bye.